Then we cover the urinary part of this. The two kidneys remove waste products and drugs from the body, balance the body's fluids, release hormones to regulate blood pressure, and control production of red blood cells. Then there's the two ureters. These narrow tubes carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. Muscles in the ureter walls continually tighten and relax, forcing urine downward away from the kidneys. If the urine backs up or is allowed to stay still, a kidney infection can develop. Then there is the bladder. It is held in place by ligaments that are attached to other organs and pelvic bones. The bladder's walls relax and help expand to store urine and contract and flatten to empty urine through the ure urethra. Then the The urethra itself allows urine to pass outside the body. The brain signals the bladder muscles to tighten, which slid. <sighs> then there's the urethra. This tube allows urine to pass outside the body. The brain signals the bladder muscles to tighten, which squeezes urine out of the bladder. At the same time, the brain signals the splinter muscles to relax to let urine ex exit the bladder through the urethra. When all signals occur in a correct order, normal urination occurs.